Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to install an NVMe SSD in my PC. So I have this Intel 660p 1TB SSD. NVMe based with a form factor of 80mm. Now it's one of the cheapest NVMe SSDs out there. It's QLC NAND based. The only concern for this SSD is its durability. It does come with a 5 year warranty and an endurance rating of 200TBW for the 1TB variant of this SSD. It also comes with a dynamic cache. The cache reduces when the SSD fills up. But even with these limitations, it should be more than enough for an average user. For example, it should be perfectly fine if you use it for gaming and not for daily tasks, which requires very right intensive procedures. So this is MSI B450 Pro Carbon AC. I have two M.2 slots. One is here and the other one is right down here. So I'll be installing this SSD right here. This will be connected directly to my CPU and will be getting the max speeds. Bear in mind guys, with B450 Pro Carbon AC, SATA port 5 and 6 will be disabled when you install an SSD here. Okay, let's just open our SSD. I'll just remove the shield as well. I'm using a Phillips head screwdriver. Just unscrew this. So you can see the shield opened up. We need to remove this cover covering the thermal pad here. This is the thermal pad and will help in reducing the temperatures of the SSD. Alright, time to install the SSD. Just need to align these gold pins with that M.2 slot. Yeah, that went in easily. So here as you can see guys, the standoff for the SSD is already present on the shield. So now we are going to place the shield over the SSD. Yeah, so the seal is in its place. Let's just screw it in. Yeah, so the seal is in its place. We have finally installed the SSD. Let's just start the PC and see if it is recognized by the BIOS. Yeah, so now I'm in the BIOS of my PC. Let's see if SSD is detected. Here it is, Intel SSD. You can see 1024 GB. So BIOS immediately detected it. Now I'm going to boot into the PC. So here as you can see guys, it is not detected by default. We need to format the drive before we can use it. So let me just open the disk partition. Just click on create and format hard disk partitions here. So this is my FireCuda drive detected. This is my crucial 500 GB SSD. And this is our newly installed Intel SSD. You can see unallocated. And it's showing it has 950.87 GB. Just right click on it. Then click on initialize disk. I'll select the GPT partition. Now just right click on it. Click on new simple volume. Next. Next. Here the letter will be assigned to it. Just click on next again. Format it using NTFS. You can give it the name here. So here as you can see guys, now our drive has been detected. It is ready to use 953 GB free. This is the 1 TB variant of Intel 660p SSD. This is the space you will be getting. I'll run the crystal disk mark benchmark. Let's see. Select the drive. The test is done guys. The sequential read speed is around 1932 Mbps and the sequential write speed is around 1614.5 Mbps. Now it has a dynamic cache. And when more than 75% of the SSD is filled, the cache will reduce and you may see the write speeds go down well below 100 Mbps. In this case, you can see for the 4K benchmark, it was around 178.2 Mbps. So I'll be transferring my battle.net folder. Here as you can see, its size is 39.1 GB. I have Overwatch installed in it. 
this folder is present on crucial mx500 ssd it's a sata 3 ssd okay so now i'll paste it here let's see how long it takes the intel nvme drive is empty yeah we can see speeds are going up now The SATA 3 drive is limited to around 500 to 600 Mbps read speed but this is the only SSD test drive that I have. Yeah we are getting around 400-450 Mbps not bad. The speeds are not dropping. Yeah so game copied. The speed did not go down below 400 for majority of the duration. So now I am going to start GTA 5. We will be seeing how long it takes to load. 1, 2, 3, go. So it's loading the story mode, it's been around 22 seconds, still loading. Alright, it took 33 stop. seconds to load the game. Alright, our next session. All right, so I started Rise of the Tomb Raider. Let's see how long it takes to load this game. Go. The trail leads up the mountain. Through the valley beyond from the summit. All right. Let's take it easy here. It took only 7 seconds to load this game. So I started Witcher 3. Let's see how long it takes to load this game. 1, 2, 3, go. I'm using a stopwatch to note the time. That's it, so it took 13 seconds to load the game. So this SSD definitely helps in loading the game fast. So guys I'll end this video here. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.